Martin. I got a major. The captain. Are you ready? Lieutenant. Are you ready? It's honoring. Hello, welcome to Strapping on the Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Popcorn. Right, in the chapel. When a man's ways pleads the Lord, he makes even his enemies have be at peace with him. Proverbs 16, 7. So just keep on doing what you're supposed to be doing. Just keep on keeping on, right? So, we're good that way. Alright, so today is not a break from the wine dog today. Is it? No. Alright, so let's start with Gibbs went home. Got yep. that horse, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, Longhorn. Zebu had her baby this week, right? Yeah. Bidet still has to go. No problems there. We're having popcorn, by the way. Grab your snack. And I'm drinking a lot of water, so. Um, but we did have some bad news. We work the sheep, and apparently our warmer isn't working well enough. Correct? Yeah. They've, I guess, built resistance to it. And as a result, when we switch to the new one, we lost baby girl. Correct? Yep. Nope. So... I don't know if she just had a heavy, I mean, that's all we know that could have happened, what it could have been, correct? Yep. Um, we have a warming regiment in place. They were due to be warmed. Yes, we warm, you know, once a month, once every two months. It just depends on the time of the year. Um, right? Yep. And it can a lot of things. Uh, we practice the matcha, but this month when we got our hands on her, I'm guessing. I mean, she was a little pale, and yes, we try to boost them up with red cell. Which, if you're using that for a reference, you get with your vet first because that's an off-label thing, isn't it? So, and too much of it can kill a sheep. But um, I don't know. I, I mean, it's just it's heart wrenching because we're trying to do everything right, and something still passes. Correct. So, it is what it is. Carl and Wilbur are still down here, just waiting on us to drop popcorn. Right? What else in the bottom shelf? That's it. Well, are we going to make a new category to talk about the phone call we got, or just in the barn shelf? Let's leave it in the barn shelf. Okay, so, a word of warning. Um, most of you know that we taking rescue animals and such. Got a call from the Sheriff's Department Saturday, which was yesterday. Yep. And they're working on a case that involves 12 miniature bulls and, what do you say, six or seven horses? 10 to 12 miniature bulls and six or seven horses. So, um, hopefully none of them are studs. Hopefully we can get them loaded up and taken to docks. We don't know when the gentleman that was in charge of that didn't call us back. Um, we had to call and make sure that we had enough hay. Uh, we have a gentleman who supplies us, and we didn't want to put him in a bind, did we? So, um, the miniature bulls will go in the bullpen, and I don't know where. Um, Bear and Mr. Zebu will go. But the bulls that are coming in will have to be quarantined. So, uh, the east pen's the only pen big enough, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, unless we just want to put them in the arena, which I don't want to because the, that exposes them to our cows. They can go nose to nose with the cows, correct? Mm -hmm. So, 
we can close off the holding pin. Not way the cows can't be exposed to them. The horses, honestly, they'll probably all be quarantined in that stall. Like, um, we'll figure it out as we go. That's all we can say, huh? Yep. Um, the horses may be in the baby kit pin, correct? Because that stall is tall enough. Yep. No. Um, if they're involved in a court case, it will take. I don't know. It, it depends on what the state had on these people and how much they fight. If they decide just to sign them over, relinquish custody, not fight anything, it goes pretty quick. Um, which is ironic because where was I at when we got caught? Exactly. Yeah. At the exotic sale. What was I doing at the exotic sale? So, come on, get over here. Your face isn't even on camera. You're eating more than you're doing. Looking for a new prospect at all. Why? Because this year we had two girls. So we wanted to keep them. Yep. We want to grow our herd to six, five cows, and, or maybe six cows, and we're going to pull. That's going to be our whole new herd. Um, if I do that, right now I've got this year's two girls, right? And those two girls will be staying here. So, anyway. But we can't breed them back to the bull we have. How come? Because he's their daddy. Mm -hmm. Yep. No inline breeding on the farm, huh? No. Okay. <clears throat> Is that all in the barn stall? I think so. Coming up this week, we're going to try and get the pigs to be friends. Correct. Yep. Tired of having two pins, tired of having two everything. <laughs> Are you playing with the food? Uh -huh. Why? That is fun. You're supposed to eat it. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough eating. What's up next? Mending fences. What have you been doing this week? I've been fixing fence. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the goats keep jumping out. Mm -hmm. They jump, they crawl, they run. They do anything to get out. Yep. And they're very good at it. <laughs> so, anything else that you've been working on? Miss Zebu has her stall tore up. Um, her baby's in there. I noticed that Miss Longhorn was coming up, fussing with the bull. And I think she liked hanging out with Miss Zebu. So. If it's not going to rain, are we going to turn her out today? Yeah. Is it supposed to rain at all? Mm -hmm. So we need to get out there and get her turned out. we got to get some milk with the goats too, don't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else? No. Not really. No. Not many fences in the yard farm. I spun some wool. Spun some yak, which I was not very happy with. I never have applied it because it's really weak. No matter how much twist you put on it, I'm not liking how weak it is. It definitely would be a novelty yarn and I don't think it would last um, as long as... Yuck, 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 yuck. No, don't back. <laughs> That's a song, huh? Yuck, 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 don't come back. Anyway. Yes, don't come back, yuck, yuck. How are you doing on visits? Got another one scheduled Monday, right? Yep. And at the exotic sale, I gave out our name and number to this lady who works for a school. Right? Yep. They're a small private school and they have about 20 kids that she works with, so. Right? So, still doing the. It's slowed down with school being in session, but we have noticed that they've been doing. Small daycare, small groups, kind of thing. What, Paul? <laughs> what? 
Yes, he's like that pop. tall. I dropped point ten, but I guess Wilbur got fit. Oh yeah, let's discuss what's going on with these two. Why don't they have collars on? They proceed to eat them off of each other. It used to just be Carl. Mm -hmm. Now Wilbur's with that one. I've decided I'm not buying them until I can buy them the metal ones because they're just chewing them off. Right? So. Uh, where are we at? Well, we did in the barn stuff. Yarn farm. We talked about what we were getting ready for, what I was spinning because we're getting ready for Wamego. Right? In the farmhouse, right? Uh, no. What did you do in the garden next week? In the fields. We still have one section of hay to do. Right? Hey, let's not do that on camera. It's bugging me. I got to pop one Hang on. Go in the bathroom and get one of those little picks and get it out. Or just tell us what's going on in the... <laughs> we shouldn't eat popcorn on camera. Hey. Yeah, I'm trying to get it out, but I can't look at the camera because then you're <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. In the fields. What'd you do in the garden? Uh, I proceeded to weed whack. He mowed. Yeah. It was getting pretty tall. It wasn't even dry enough really to mow, was it? But yeah, it was tall enough to lose a small child. But it was wet with all the rain, so. It's been raining for like two weeks almost, so. Which is good. We needed the rain, correct? Yep. It makes right. it hard to mow. Mm -hmm. It does. It makes it hard to keep the garden in control. So. Alright, so what's after in the hay fields? Or in the fields? <clears throat> Bye, see you. No. Audio comments. How'd your roofing go? Not very good so far. Because it's rain and you haven't gotten all the yeah. practice in. Right? Yeah. So, how did it go? Um. When I went to Friday night, I missed one. Then my header missed one. Then I went last night, and I missed my calf, and I missed two steers. So, not very good. Nope. I wrote a poem for the fair. Are you entering anything in the fair? No. Nope. Does Miss Piggy have any um, muskins over there? No. Nope. I think it would say one. I know, I had one growing, but. I guess I could do some looper cords. I don't know if they're any good right now. I think they're big. But. Right? Let's see here. What? That's something I wanted to add to the podcast. Can? I don't know what it was. When did you think of it? A few minutes ago, it just kind of floated through my brain. Mm. Didn't seem to get it tied down in time. Just tip on. Mm. Maybe it'll float over to you. I joined my bowling wing. Did we tell him about that? On uh, Sunday, I said I'm bowling. I'm bowling wing. The monk professional bowler. No. So I'm there the for my it. handicap. No, I don't let her flee. She bowls great. No, she I bowls don't. about 100 every time. Okay, 100 isn't great. I love to score a hundred on a test every time, Mom. And you come home and you score like a hundred every time. Sometimes you even get one eighths, one ninths, one seventh. Like, that is normally tough. if I do decent, it's between one thirty and one seventy. Well, we have one on the fridge is one eighty. I know, but it doesn't happen all the time. That's why it's printed up and on the fridge. I'm proud of it. <laughs> oh. So Sometimes. And what is it? 200 is a perfect game, right? 300. I'm um, only a third of the way there. You'll get them. You'll get them. Just tell me. You'll get them. I'm there for my handicap. So. I'm proceeding to make a pyramid of cans. Yes, he is. Alright, anything else going on? The house is dusty, and my plan today is to get it dusted. I did my part. No, I didn't. You 
see that dust? Can I see that dust? You're dropping it like a computer. I know. I am dropping it everywhere. But you can see that dust, right? Mm -hmm. It's just dusty. I haven't dusted. Everything else is cleaned up. Okay, but it's dusty. Clean it. I don't think so. <laughs> I said I was going to dust it, not drench it. Right? I'm not sure what you said, but I know what I was going to do. I know. You're not going to help. All right. Anything else? Do you have my poem to read? Sure, let me grab it on Facebook. Okay. Can you read it for me? Sure. Awesome. He's going to read it for me. Every year I try to write a poem, and a lot of times they end up being about RJ. So I guess you could say I'm a cowboy poet. Is that? <laughs> Nobody on Facebook really liked it. There was a couple of people on our page. RJ shared it. And None of his friends really like it, so I don't know that it's going to do very good in the fair this year. So, I don't know. Are you finding it? Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Alright. Over here to the camera. <laughs> okay, hey. I'm out of bench. Don't fall. Okay. Nice and loud so they because sometimes we're grumbling. Alright. What's the title? Wreck of the Year. Wreck of the Year. Come on. Do it right. It is the mom of a cowboy's worst fear. The story she really doesn't want to hear. Just normal run of the mill day of work that ended with our young cowboy getting hurt. Doctoring a bull was the order of the day, but nothing works out as easy as they say. The young cowboy and his uncle found the bull with a bum leg. They worked to lay him over, but for the last step they had to beg. The bull was hurting and having none of it. He was hoping the cowboys would give up and quit. Both cowboys worked on through the Oklahoma heat even though both horses and cowboys were dead on their feet. The young cowboy's horse and the bull had been locked in a tug of war. The young cowboy wasn't sure his horse could take much more. Then without notice, the rope gave slack. The horse tried to recover and protect the cowboy on his back. Both cowboys can see it happen so clear, but the young cowboy can do nothing as his horse starts to rear. The young cowboy holds on as his horse fights for his footing. But the reins from the night before left the ground as slick as pudding. The final rear of the horse ended on a, in a slip. On top of the young cowboy, the horse does flip. The young cowboy lay quiet on the ground as the horse hopped up and wandered around. The young cowboy had held on with all his might. The horse had been putting up one hell of a fight. As the cowboy came down, the young cowboy prayed, Dear Lord, don't let it be one of those days. The uncle made it to the young cowboy's side, needing to know if he was able to ride. The young cowboy was alive and wait. He would be bruised and sore, but fine, for goodness sake. The end. The end. Yep. So, that's my entry. Nobody seems to really be liking it, do they? Yeah, that's good. I like it. You like anything just because it's your mama. <laughs> right? Yep. I've decided I'm not going to do a short story. I haven't really crocheted anything to enter. Well, I started stuff, but I didn't. I'll enter my popcorn. Um, if we have some boards, I'll put those in. Um, which I know we have them out there. I just haven't harvested them. So. I'm still hungry. Apparently, I'm going to get off here and feed him. Anything else going on that they need to know about? It's kind of a short one today, but you've got a open to go to, correct? Yep. I'm going to dust the house. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah. Chicken. Yeah. Look at those, that chicken. 
we get three chickens. more kittens too. Oh yeah. We've got five Maybe more we should chicks. just sell the sheep and become a cat farm. Yeah. So kittens for sale. Free to go to home. <laughs> Come and get them. Um, okay. We accept tips. So most farms have a problem with keeping cats because the coyotes get them. Apparently, we have we don't have that problem or have the opposite effect. Uh, we had sister. She disappeared. After her kittens were moved out into the barn, she just disappeared. Um, then Fatso, her sister, this disappeared paper for a week or two. For like a week or two. So we were picking out which kittens we were going to keep to go get fixed to rehome the others. And who showed back up? Fatso. And she was back. And she was fat. And this time she had how many kittens? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. We have to have her dried up Three. in order for her to have, um, to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And she disappeared before we could get her dried up. So Doc said, well, you know, probably coyotes got her, blah, blah, blah. And that's twice it. She's snuck off and done her thing. Not a good thing, is it? She's free to get home. The others are penny. Well, we're going to, um, we've been rehoming some. We'll stick them in a box and ship them to you. Just send us your address and pay for free. Uh, they might eat the box on the way, though. They're kind of ferocious. But Just we, kidding. We have some picked out. We've got two picked out that we're going to keep get to the vet and get them fixed okay. and then of course when they go to their new home it's up to their new owners to get them fixed so far off oh my god i'm oh, hey, carl i got a big paw see. look at this paw turn, turn him around so you can see the size yeah big paw turn it sideways okay he's sideways not him get him up here where people can see him i know <laughs> i got him Carl is the love bug, but look at that paw. Mm -hmm. That is like, if they grow into their paws, they're going to be big dog crunches. He's going to be big dog crunches. He is the lover. Wilbur is the, um, you have patty cake? Patty cake, patty cake. I think he's done playing patty cake. Okay, down you go then. Oh, no, he wanted to be left on, but. And now he's just sitting in a pile on the floor. <laughs> he does. He just slides right down. Wilbur! Wilbur's our evil looking one. Have oh, you yeah. showed him his eyes? Like, his, uh, um... Just, look at his cow. eyebrows. Look at his eyebrows. Hey. Hey. His eyebrows. <laughs> he looks horrified. <laughs> Stare at the camera, Wilbur. Stare at the camera. You. Alright. But anyway, he does his eyebrows make him look a little evil. He doesn't want to go down. Oh, you bumped his head. Come here, Carl. Carl's a lover. Get Carl over here. No, Carl. Just go. Get him here. You're <laughs> me. Not him and Moose are off running. Alright. Enough puppy love. You didn't do Carl's big paws. You didn't. Or Wilbur's big paws. You didn't well, I saw them. Carl. They're close enough. They're nothing alike. She's oh, right. puppy pad. Yeah. One's drinking and one's having it come out. Yep. But on the puppy pad. So, all right. Anything else? Are we done? Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. How about goodbye? Uh, goodbye.